Good morning, everybody, and thank you again for tuning in to this particular telecast broadcast. Um, as you know, we are taking our 21-day fast, and we're just kind of just uh, focusing in on everything that God has called us to do. And we, we, I have been providing uh, uh, a word every day for these 21 days that I uh, just encourage you all to kind of focus in on among your other uh, prayer requests that you have. And today, I want to be, uh, I want to focus in on the knowledge of God because sometimes uh, you you can't obtain anything real significant from God unless you at least have some type of awareness or knowledge of him because if you don't know what God is saying in the word or what God is revealing to your spirit or if you're fasting and you don't you really don't get the answer that means you won't be effective in uh, the next stage that God is trying to take you to and I believe that God is trying to take uh, you to another stage another level in him but with that he has to provide another dimension or another layer of his, of his knowledge so very familiar scripture in in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 he says my people are destroyed how for a lack of knowledge it's not that they are um, dumb it's just they have a lack of knowledge they have knowledge in certain areas but since they don't have the fulfillment of knowledge then he said they are destroyed so it does uh, what you don't know can't hurt you. What you don't know about God can affect your destiny. So you got to have the knowledge of God in order to be successful in whatever, whatever he's causing you to do. And so he says, my people are destroyed. Not injured, but destroyed. Destroyed means beyond repair. Meaning that there's, it's broken to the point so much that you can't use it anymore. The, the usefulness exists no more. You can't use it. It's been destroyed. So he says, my people, the body of Christ, are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. If you just only get uh, things about God, but you never get to know Him, he, Paul said it like this. He said, "My prayer is that you will know Him in the power of, your, of His resurrection." He says, "I want you to have the knowledge of God. Don't just read a Bible or read a scripture and don't gain any knowledge. Make sure you gain knowledge, and all you're getting, get an understanding." So he said, "My people are destroyed from a lack of knowledge." And then he goes and says, because you have rejected knowledge. Now, will somebody actually reject knowledge? Yes, they can by their actions. If they choose to kind of just go to God but don't want to understand him, don't want to dig deeper, don't want to, like you all are doing, fasting. If they don't want to gain more of a foundation in him, they are actually rejecting him, rejecting knowledge. And the Bible says right here, because you have rejected knowledge, I also reject you as my priest. Or I reject you as my spokesperson. I reject you as a spiritual leader. I reject you as somebody of influence. I reject your, your ministry calling because you're not trying to get deeper in me anyway. Why should I? Too much is given, much is required, he said. Why would I give you more if you're not going to uh, take the time to dig deeper and get knowledge of me? So God wants us to have a desire to get knowledge. But he said my people are destroyed for a lack of it. They don't want all of that they don't they just want just enough so they can say I know a little bit about God but they don't want enough to be delivered they want enough to be forgiven but not delivered they don't want to be set free they they just want enough to say oh yeah I know who that is but you know what you can know a celebrity person and say I know who that is but you don't really know them unless they know you as well so uh, you may know of them but you don't have the knowledge of who they really are and that's how you get anonymous people that write blogs and write all kinds of uh, evil comments because they really don't know the person. Because if you if they really knew them, they wouldn't go that way. It's, I mean, most mostly cowards do that kind of stuff. So he says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And then he says, because you rejected me, rejected knowledge, I rejected you as my priest. But then he goes and says, because you have ignored the law of your God, I will also ignore your children. So why would he say ignore? It means that you see what God is doing, but you just decide that, uh, you know what, I don't think I want to go that way. So you just ignored God's way of doing things. And then he says, I'm going to ignore something that's special to you. Since you didn't, since you didn't want to acknowledge me, and since your children mean something so much to you, God says, I will ignore your children. Because it, does, it, it doesn't really do anything for God to just ignore you. You already ignored him. So... It, it doesn't really hit your heart until something that you really love is ignored, which is your children, which is your seed, which is your generation. 
And God is saying, because you ignored uh, me or ignored the law, or in other words, this way of saying it is the word of God. Since you ignored the word of God, which is the knowledge and wisdom of God, since you ignored that, I'm going to ignore your children. Now, that's a sad thing. And that's a that's something that, you know, people, if if you really want to get God's attention, make sure you study his word because you're not doing it just for you. This fast that you're on is not just for you. It's for your children, too. And some of the stuff that you're doing now is is setting the tone for the generations behind you. So we can't afford to ignore God and ignore what he's trying to do in our lives because the Bible says that we are destroyed for lack. So my prayer for you all today is, Lord, give me uh, more of your more knowledge of you. I don't want to just have one level of you, but I want to I want to know you. I want to experience you. I want to have this uh, this you know this this knowledge about you that that causes me to be uh, closer to you. Now you have to you got to have that desire to have God to have uh, to to gain that kind of knowledge of God. Otherwise, you will be wasting your time, and you will fulfill this scripture when it says, "My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge." So pray for the knowledge of God as you go up. Go about your day. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, I pray, Lord, for these people, God. I pray, Lord, for what you have in their life. I pray, God, that you are making a way for them, Lord, and help them, Lord, to gain even more knowledge with you uh, so that they can be a better person, a better Christian, Lord, and so their, their seed, their generation, their children, Lord, can be blessed, Lord. We do not want to be people, Lord, that will uh, be destroyed for a lack of knowledge, but help us, Lord, to maintain our, um, our relationship with you so that we can be... Uh, people of knowledge and people that that are not destroyed by every wind and doctrine and i thank you lord right now lord that knowledge is flowing right now in the lives of your of your people it's in jesus name amen well i hope you enjoyed that uh particular uh talk on knowledge i'll be sure to give some more to you uh, uh in the coming days for uh, the next stage but again uh ask god to give you more knowledge in certain areas so that you can know him more and I hope to see you again on the next broadcast. Take care.